Hey everybody, we're back with another video about concrete work. Today we're going to be introducing you to Tomahawk's new mini power trial. We've never used this before. Today will be the first job we're using it on, so we're brand new to this too. It looks really cool, it looks interesting, and I'm really curious to see if it's going to work alright. It claims you can finish concrete earlier. But if you're a concrete finisher, you know that finishing comes down to timing. When the concrete's ready to finish, then it's ready. So we're going to see just how this works today. But first, let's let's get this thing poured. Now what's going on here is the guy that's doing the building, the guy that hired us, the contractor, he's turning this mini little garage into a finished space. So he jacked the garage up a little bit. He's putting a concrete slab under it and then he'll drop the building back down on the slab and then he's going to insulate everything turn it into a finished space connect it to the house so it's no longer going to be a garage and really the concrete floor of the slab we're doing is going to all get covered by some type of finished flooring in in the end so you won't even see the finish we're going to put on it with a mini power trial but that's okay you'll get to see just how it works and this is a, this is a good little small uh slab for us to test it on anyway and see how it's going to go but first let's get the thing poured now the contractor actually did all the prep work here he he dug everything out he jacked the garage up he set the forms for the slab he put the styrofoam down we came in we put the wire down and we're going to put a double roll rebar we're just going to wet set the rebar around the edges and it's about a six inch slab the edges are about 12 inches thick this is a pretty typical monolithic slab here in Maine you know, especially with the styrofoam under it that's code just helps keep the frost from getting down under the slab now eventually this this structure will all be heated so you don't really have to worry about frost getting under it in the winter if it's heated because the slab stays a certain temperature it stays you know at least f about 50 degrees below the slab the ground below the slab so the the dirt or the earthwork will never freeze below the slab as long as the structure is heated. But the styrofoam does help insulate, helps keep the warmth in the building. So we get this, this little back piece poured. And I, I would assume he's going to either build a door out through here or you know, he's going to take part of that wall down eventually to make it all one room. But I don't really know. Like I said, this is our only day here just pouring and finishing the concrete. So Darren and I are working out back to get this thing screeded and leveled out, and I'll bull float it while Luke, both Lukes actually, <laughs> Luke and Luke are inside pouring some more concrete that you'll see here in just a second. This was about 14 feet wide, 13 and a half or so. I think that's our 13 foot screed we're using. It was about 13 and a half wide by 30 long. And I think that's as about as big as he could go here because we're right up against the other people's property lines. So that's that's basically all I know about the details of that. You can see how nice and smooth this mix finishes. I'm using I'm using my regular floor mix today. I got a 3,500 pound mix. We put water reducer in it. We use fiber mesh in it. We uh, just like that floor mix. I mean, 3,500. This one's actually got a 50-50 blend with a stone, so it's got half three-quarter inch stone and half three-eighth stone. It's a pretty nice uh, mix to pull around and screed and bull float it. Everything works pretty nice on it. Today, this morning, was pretty chilly. It was in the actual 40s today. This is the middle of October. So temperatures are really cooling down in Maine. We're getting ready for, this is fall weather. And it won't be long for winter. That's what it looks like inside. So, like I said, this is our actual first day here, other than just coming up real quick to take a peek at it in advance to give him an estimate on the cost of this thing. But he got everything prepped really nice for us. And I'm actually using, you can't see it, but it's off to the right on the outside, just under where that building sits up off the slab. I got a little line laser I'm using from DeWalt that you know, that's what I'm using I got I'm way in back I got that grade stick in my hand and that's what I'm using just to double check his grades and his heights to make sure everything's nice and level 
since we didn't set the slab up, you know, I like to make sure that everything's perfect. And there I am right there just checking it with the line level. So it's shooting out a little green line. You can just barely see it on the bottom of the stick. And I'm making sure everything matches that green line all the way around. Kind of see it on my wrist right there as I'm magging. And I got a screw coming out of the grade stick. And if the line hits the screw, then I know my grade is perfect. Now things are going pretty well up till now. This is about 6.30 in the morning, 6.45. Starting pretty early, getting done, pouring pretty early. And then, you know, we're going to move on to, I'll show you just how this, this new mini trowel from Tomahawk works. Thing's pretty tiny. It weighs about 40-ish pounds maybe. It's not very heavy. One guy can lift it real easy. You can hook a bunch of poles to it. So if the building wasn't on this slab, we wouldn't even have to walk out on the slab to power trial it. We could finish it all from the outside, except for maybe going around the, the pipes, you know, with the mag and the hand trowel. But other than that, we would have been able to finish this thing all from the outside. We're using that paint rebar too, the fiberglass rebar nowadays. It's really light. The 3 8 pink bar like that, the fiberglass bar is rated the same as number four steel bar, so half inch steel bar as far as strength goes. I like it because it's really light. I can pick up 20 bars of that stuff real easy. And that's how easy it was to pour right there. Now here's the trowel. This is pretty much how it shows up in a box crate just like that. And it's got four of these poles you can hook onto it. You could use one pole if you want. You could use all four. And then it does have a little handle at the end. You could you could use the handle at the end if you want. You can see it right there on the tailgate. But you don't really need to use the handle either. Poles just clip together and they're adjustable. They can adjust up a little bit higher if you need them to or they can adjust back down. You know, if you're running them way out on a slab, you don't want them probably too high. And then we're so used to picking trowels up together. <laughs> The boys pick this one up together, but really one guy can lift that really, really easy. So we just start it, give it a little throttle. I didn't have the bolts for the throttle cable, so we just zip tied them on for today. <laughs> I left the bolts back home in the garage. Give it a little bit of throttle. That's not that's not full throttle right there. It does it does throttle up a little bit faster than that. Like I said, this is our very first time trying this thing. So Darren only put on a couple couple lengths of the poles. He didn't want to get it out there too far and really not be used to controlling it. So this is a little bit earlier than we would normally get on it with a regular power trial, one of our one of our bigger MBWs. It definitely is a little bit earlier. It's about the same time we would get on it with skids if we were gonna if we were gonna wipe it out by hand. So just to give you a reference, if you could probably press your fingers into the concrete about a, maybe about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch right here. If you stepped on the concrete, you'd sink, you know, between an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So it's a, just that we like waiting until, if we were gonna power trial this with a regular gas power trial, a big one, uh, we wouldn't sink at all when we stepped on this. It would still be really green and ready to go and not too hard, but you wouldn't be sinking an eighth to a quarter of an inch. That would be too early for a big power trial. So in that case, I guess you can start finishing a little bit earlier with this. I wouldn't want to finish any bleed water in this. I'd want to make sure the bleed water was all finished, all completely dry before I start going over it with a power trial. And you can see Luke can step on it right there. He's not really sinking in, although this is the second hit right here. So Darren hit it that first time. I'm sure the boys probably gave it about 30 minutes, maybe 30, 40 minutes today before they got on it again here the second time. And they're just testing it out right now. Luke's turning up the throttle. So that's full throttle right there. So it's not like crazy fast like a regular power trial, but it does go, it does go pretty fast. I did speed up the video right here just a little bit just to give you an idea of you know how this is going to work on this area now like i said if the walls weren't here if this wasn't a jacked up garage if this was a wide open slab luke wouldn't even have to step on it he could do it all from the outside 
and then just one guy going around the pipes maybe getting on it for that to do it finish that round then by hand Luke also adjusted the handles down a little bit since he put all four poles on it and I'm sure you could buy more poles if you wanted to even reach out further on something but all in all you know we was pretty impressed by how this worked if if we didn't have this trial, this mini trial here today, we'd be wiping this out by hand. We wouldn't even put a big trial on this, so we do it all by hand. And uh, so it is saving quite a bit of hand work, I guess, getting on there with skids like you've seen us in the past. And then just magging it out, hand trialing it out, you know, three or four times to get it nice and smooth. So it does take a lot of the work away from doing that part. And then, you know, just we'll just have a guy, you can see a guy on the outside just touching up the edges, even though the building's going to kind of sit back down on the edges. So it does work pretty good. We'll run it, you know, we kind of run the same pattern we do with a big trial. There it is. I got it back down to real time now. So you can see the difference in the RPMs. That's, that's about as fast as it goes in real time, so you wouldn't want to get on something too late. And it does have it does have combo blades on it. And here Luke's just finishing up this very last hit. And then they're gonna give it a little bit longer before they hit it again. But all in all, they're liking kind of how it works. There's the on and off button, there's the off button right there. So this is the third hit. Boys probably gave it another 40 minutes or so, I'm guessing. And this, like I said, this floor is all getting covered with some type of flooring. I believe it's like click flooring, wood flooring. So it's all getting covered with something. So it doesn't have to be shined out like it's a finished floor or a finished garage or anything like that. But just kind of flat and somewhat smooth to make the flooring go down a little bit easier. And again, this is Darren's first time running it with all the poles on it. Last time he only had two poles on it. He's got the handles adjusted down a little bit lower now so he could reach out with all four poles if he needed to. And he will end up he will end up crossing his pattern this time to help flatten the floor out even more. But let me know what you guys think. You know, would you use something like this? What do you think of the trial? It definitely can finish concrete. And you know, whether it whether it finishes it faster or not, you know, I don't know. If this was, if it was 90 degrees out in the sun, you know, I think you'd need a few more RPMs out of this maybe to be able to keep up with the how fast the slab's drying. But on something like this, something undercover, something even bigger like a like a two car garage um, that's in cooler weather, or maybe the garage has already been built and you're pouring the slab inside the garage, I think you could use the finish. Definitely, but it is it is today. It's helping us with oh, so we don't have to get on our hands and knees so much and finish this concrete floor. So in those regards, it's it's definitely a big help for us today. So if you're interested in a trial like this, I'll have a link for it down in the description. Um, if you want to contact Blake at Tomahawk. You could contact Blake and ask him some questions about it. I'll have his contact information down in the description of the video also. But really in the comments, just you know, let me know what you guys think about this, especially you guys that finish concrete. Like I was a little skeptical at first. I'm, I was like, this thing's way too light, you know, and, and finishing concrete, getting on it earlier isn't always a good thing. You don't wanna you don't wanna finish concrete too early. You don't wanna trap any of the bleed water in there. You wanna let it set up enough so you know the surface is actually ready to finish you could actually cause more damage to the concrete if you finish it too early I don't want the con I don't want the trial sinking into the concrete making big waves in the concrete but in this case today that didn't happen it all worked out pretty good you can see how smooth that's coming out and you know I think Darren's gonna finish it up and leave it just like that for the click flooring to go over it he could hit it once he could hit it again he could hit it two more times to get this really really smooth if he wanted to but all in all I was pretty impressed with this trial and kind of looking forward to using it again on another job to see how it works on that and when I do I'll video that for you and let you know but for today 
You know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. Please share the video with people you think who might like this trial. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.